My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to be continuing with day six of the 30 days hacker rank coding challenge, and today is titled Let's Review. So we are going to be playing around with string, how to split string into two parts, separating the even index characters of the string with the odd index characters of the string. This is very important and interesting because if you go down, if you go down to look at the output, they give us nothing. So we have to actually by ourselves read the inputs and then solve this problem. Remember in the previous ones, they give us the inputs, but in this case, they, they don't give us anything. All right, so let's read the question. Today, we will expand our knowledge of strings, combining it with what we have already learned about loops. Now, the task is given a string of length n, that is index from 0 to n minus 1, print its even index and odd index characters as two space separating strings in a single line. Now, this is very, very important. Note, 0 is considered to be an even index. Now, let me go to the whiteboard. So, let's see how it works here. So, for instance, we have a string A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, this is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2, this is index 3, this is index 4 and 5. So, we should have S1 and S2 to hold the substrings. In this case, this will be the even index string and this will be the odd index string. So, if we read the first one, oh, is this index even, which is index 0? They say index 0 is even, so we're going to add A here. And read the second one, is. 1, 1 is odd, so we're going to add it here, b, and we read the third one, 2 is the index is even, we add it here, which is c, we read d is odd, we add it here, and so on, until we build up this, and later on we now print, we now print s1 and s2. All right, so the basic thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do is to read n from the input. So I'm going to say n is equal to input. Of course, you have to change it to string, to integer. We are going to write it in the code. Now, we are going to also read the inputs by ourselves because they didn't give us the inputs. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say for, for, we are not interested in the index at this time, so I'm going to just put an underscore in range from 0 to n. So we want to read n inputs, and I'm going to say word, we are going to read one line at a time, and whatever we read, we call it word, is equal to inputs. Now, we want a way to keep all these words we are reading, right? So, we don't want to just read it and overwrite it. We want to save it inside somewhere. So, we need to initialize an empty array called words. So, words is an empty array like this, okay? So, what it means is if we read each word, we are going to simply append it to the list of words or to the words array. So, I'm going to say words.append here. And append the word we just read. All right. So at this point, at the end of this array, when it gets to n, we now have a list of all the words. All right. That is fine. Now, when we have a list of all the words, we now have to iterate because this is just one word. There's another one. There's another one. So I'm going to read this list of words. This is one, this is another one, there's another one, and so on. So we are going to loop through for each word. So I'm going to say for, for words in words. So this means for each word in this array of words. Now we are going to separate this word for each word in words. We are going to separate it into two parts, H1 and H2. And this H1 and H2, we are going to build it gradually. So let's initialize H1 to be empty for now and H2 to be also empty. So as we are reading it, we are building up this H1 and H2 depending on whether the characters of this word 
the, the character at the index, the index of the character, current character is even or odd. Alright, so for each of these words, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, another loop is going to loop through the characters this time. So I'm going to say for, this time it's going to be for i in, because now we are using the index i, because we are interested in the index of the characters in the words. So I'm going to say for i in range from 0 to, from 0 to the length of the words, for, from 0 to the length of the current word that we read. Now they tell us that the first item that has index 0 is even. So I'm going to say, now this is the, let's say this is the even, and this is, the S2 is the odd. So it means the first one is going to be even, all right? So I'm going to say, uh, let's say if I'm going to now check for even uh, evenness by saying if the words i sorry if the, if this index i that is i mod two is equal to zero, then we append it because in this case we are reading zero mod two. So 0 mod 2 remains 0, and of course 0 is even, just like they told us. So in this case we are going to say h1 equal to h1 plus the word, the, the, the index, the word at that index. So I'm going to say word i. Okay, so if this is even, we add it to h1 else is odd we are going to add it to s2 by saying s2 is equal to s2 plus word i so we simply add it to s2 at the end of the day we have built the s1 and s2 we are going to simply print it out so print S1 and S2. So I'm writing the city code, not the actual syntax of the Python program. So this is basically how the code looks like. Let's now go to HackerRank and then write exactly what we've come up with. So what I can do at this point, maybe I can just put the two windows side by side. So let me see. I think I can. All right. So let's follow the the, the pseudo code or the algorithm we wrote and just let's write this. So the first thing I mentioned is that we are going to read n is equal to int. So we are going to convert the input to int. Input now is not only very important, you strip the white space characters from any input you get. So I'm going to strip the white space. So if someone enters a space, of course that is going to be a. So that's why we use the strip here. And in this case, we also convert into int because we want, to, we want the first line to be the number of items to be an integer. So I'm going to say for, we are not interested in the index here. So I'm going to just use an underscore in range 0 to n. So in this, let me say here. So this is for underscore in range 0 to n so if you are not interested in something just put underscore there word is equal to input okay so this is fine and then words dot append word okay so this is it but we also need to initialize words here as empty array so we are going to build up the array at this point so at this point, we've succeeded in reading all our inputs from here. So the next thing we are going to look through all these words. So I'm going to say for word in words. Now for each of these words, we are going to split it into H1 and H2. So I'm going to first initialize an empty one, an empty array, of which is an empty set of characters is equal to 
So in this case, x1 is going to hold the even characters, even indexed characters of words. x is going to hold the odd indexed characters of words. So again, I'm going to now start another loop that loops through the characters of this word. So I'm going to kind of increase this. So for this time, we are interested in the we are interested in the index. So I'm going to say for i in range going from zero to length, to length of the word. So for i going from zero to the length of the word, we are going to check if it is even or odd. So the first thing we are going to check is if i is even. Of course, to check if i is, if it is even, you do mod two. If is equal to zero, then i is even. So I'm going to append to x1. x1 is equal to x1 plus words i. All right. So in this case, i is even because zero over two, of course, is zero. Right. So we are going to now say else. In this case, if i is odd. So else, if it's not even, it must be odd. So we are not saying else if i mod 2 is not 0. So we just say else because it will always be odd. So I'm going to say x2 is equal to x2 plus word uh, i. Okay. So at this point, we have built up the two odd numbered and even numbered strings from, the, from each of the words. So I'm going to now print. I'm going to print x1 space x2. And the format I like to use format to print. So I'm going to specify x1 and x2. Alright, so notice that we are printing inside this loop because for each of the words for each of the words for each of these words we are going to print out the split of these words into x1 and x2 before we go to the next word right and that's and that way we have processed all the words in the in the list so i'm going to do let me just reduce this and then let's run this code to see if it works so i'm going to click on run and if we wait for a second, it says it doesn't work. So your output is this. So let's check where the problem is coming from. Um, so let's see. So we have for this, uh, for i in range 0 to lane words, i plus is equal, uh, x1 plus is equal to, ah, yeah. So here we don't need an array. We simply need an empty string. So it's not an array, but an empty string. Because if it's an array, it's simply going to do this, creating an array. It's correct, but this is array. <laughs> you can see it doesn't make no sense. So we need the words uh, and not the array. So I'm going to run this code one more time and hopefully it's going to be just fine. So the test case, you can see it passed. So I'm going to submit this code and see if it passes all the nine test cases and then we can move to something else. Right, it seems everything worked fine. It passed all the nine test, text, uh, test cases, so I'm going to be stopping here. In the next challenge, we are going to be now continuing with the... That should be the seven of this challenge. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you got this far, thumbs up to you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.